This is amazing. Now we have a model called Solar 10.7 billion parameter model. It is scaling large language models using depth upscaling. As you can see in the comparison, it is better than Mixtrel and also Quen 72 billion parameter model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Solar 10.7 billion parameter model. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to run this locally on your computer using Olama, LM Studio and Text Generation Web UI. I'm also going to test this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. So coming to Solar 10.7 billion parameter model, it is using something called depth upscaling. So what is depth upscaling? It is scaling a large language model. By doing that, you get better performance. So how did they achieve this? Imagine you have Llama 7 billion parameter model, which contains 32 layers. You are copying the same model again. Then you are merging those two models by removing first eight layers and then the final eight layers. Once after they get merged, it will be totally 48 layers. So in basic terms, we are merging two large language model into one and then we are continuously training it. The performance of the depth wise scaled model initially drops. But when continuously trained, we observe rapid performance recovery. The performance is high enough so that it can beat many of the better performing models. Now we are going to run this. In your LM Studio, you can type solar and you should be able to see the list of available models. I'm going to use the blokes version. You can click the model and click the download button to download the model. Once that is downloaded, you can go to the chat section and choose a solar model and then be able to ask questions to the model. Another way of running this is using Olama Run Solar. To download Olama, you can go to olama.ai website. Once you have typed like this, you can click enter and then it will automatically download the solar model locally on your computer. Similarly, if you're using text generation web UI, you should be able to enter the model name and the file and then click download. Once that is downloaded, then you can start chatting with the model in the chat tab. I've already covered step by step how to install LM Studio, Olama and Text Generation Web UI, which I've linked that in the description below. Now I'm going to test this model using Olama. Just remember this is a quantized version. For a full performance, you might need to run unquantized version. So now I'm going to ask basic questions. Create a daily meal plan for me and it generates the meal plan. Next, create a cover letter and it creates Dear Hiring Manager, I'm writing to apply for the recently advertised position of Marketing Manager at XYZ Corporation and it gives out the remaining. So that is a pass. Now going to ask, calculate this number and it's now performing the task and the answer is correct, so it is 48. Just to check the context awareness, if it's raining, should you take an umbrella? And the reply is yes. So that is correct. Next going to ask, correct the sentence, she doesn't know, just to check the grammar. So when I asked she don't know, it replied she doesn't know. Next as a general knowledge question, who is the Prime Minister of UK in 2012? It's David Cameron, that is correct. Next, programming task. So going to ask, write a Python function to find the factorial of 5. And it's generating the response. I'm going to copy this, pasting it in VS Code. I'm going to run this. And here is the response. The factorial of 5 is 120. That is correct. Next going to ask, create a snake game in Python. You can see the game getting generated. Now I'm going to copy this, pasting in VS Code, then running it. It says maximum recursion depth exceeded while calling a Python object. Going to try again. I can see the game is getting started and then after that it's failing. I don't see any error in the code. And also I can see the code running and the snake started going across the screen. This is a good starting point, so I'll give this a pass. I can see the response here, you lost reason, hit own body. Maybe implementing proper catching of errors can fix this issue. Next, write a tic-tac-toe game in Python. And the code is getting generated now, and it is completed now. I'm going to copy this, paste it in VS Code. I don't see any error in the code. I'm going to run it. Syntax error, unterminated string literal detected at line number 53. Could be because of the indentation, so I'm going to delete the space. Now I'm going to rerun the game. Getting the error on line number 63 now. Again, the space issue. Going back and running again. 
now I can see the game started running. Now it's asking, do you want to play against the computer or another human? I will say computer. Player one is X, player two is zero. Choose a player. Player one. Please enter your next move. I'm going to type one. Please enter your next move. Two, five, seven, eight, four, zero, six. Yes, so it worked. I can see clearly it says game over, zero wins. Initially I was asked, do you want to play with a computer or another human? I choose computer, but still I was playing against a human and a human. But that is fine. A slight tweak might change this program. So I will give this a pass. So that's it. So comparatively, I see a better performance in this model. Now you can try this on your computer and let me know how it's performing for you. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.